Okay, hello everybody and welcome. This is Catherine Perry, the Big Vision Coach, and uh, you're absolutely in the right place at the right time because this is the virtual Commanding Well Circle, the evening edition. I'm Catherine Perry. I'm known as the Big Vision Coach because I help people connect into that greater vision that they have for their lives and help them uncover the map to create it and uh, give support along the way. And I just want to thank everybody for being part, you know, for joining us tonight. Um, my intuition said, let's go ahead and start an evening event. And then um, immediately live kind of happened. And I have not, you know, a little transparency here, haven't got to uh, promote it. So we're going to have a beautiful evening, a, a very uh, intimate group tonight. But we always go deep. And um, we always have a great time. So I just want to say thanks to everybody for joining. And we will probably have some more people joining us as we go along. Now, this meeting is um, hosted by the Facebook group, the TOC Money Mindset Mastery Group, which you can find at the at TOC Money Mindset Mastery on Facebook, but then I'm also going to show you um, how you can find more resources on my katherineperry.net site. Now, our regular meeting is every Tuesday um, at noon, and um, all you have to do to get registered is um, I'll have a, a link here, but the link is in the Facebook group. The link is as soon as you join the private community and you register for it and uh, we get you going. So uh, we've been doing these in this form for a couple of years now, but I've been doing a virtual, uh, I've been doing a wealth circle since 2005 and in one form or another. And I've had the pleasure of teaching a lot of people how to host their own circles and how to, you know, how to set it up, how to do the one command, what are some of the principles behind the one command, uh, crowd control, and uh, what that circle should look like, but also how you can use that circle to build your business. And if that sounds like something that you would be interested in, I do have a course on that. And uh, I would, uh, I've actually been wanting to bring it back out because I have, my big vision is to um, have a circle in every country, in every city, because this um, format made such a radical difference in my life. And if you haven't heard the story before, I'm just telling this for the sake of people who may be watching by video. And if you're watching by video, be sure and hit hashtag replay uh, so before you put your uh, questions or comments so that um, I can uh, be sure and find them because I do keep an eye on those and I'll respond to you. But um, I had had an incredible experience um, in a class that I think it was the second commanding wealth class ever hosted uh, by Asara Lovejoy, who's the author and the creator of the, this process called The One Command. And the class at the time was called Money, uh, uh, Mastering the Emotion of Money, I think is what it was, because we really focus on not just beliefs, let's clear those beliefs. We're teaching you how to create a whole new neurology that allows you to attract and you know attract to you what you what you desire, but also you're able to attract it to you because you are radiating out into the world um, your wants, needs, desires, your intentions. And so we teach about that. And in this particular class at the end, Asara said, you know, let's do a circle. And I had done probably a million kinds of circles with Asara because I've been a student of her since 1998, starting with Reiki healing circles and angel circles and um, intention circles and drumming circles and uh, uh, shamanic circles, you name it. We have, it's, there was always this thing about circles, but this format that Asara introduced was very different. And the idea was this, to state to the group, we had groups of about six to eight people because I think we had almost 40 people in the class and six to eight people. And in this group, you state, this is what I want to um, attract, create, or manifest, right? So you would say to the group, the one command statement, 
I don't know how I, and then they would say what they want. I only know it so now, and I am fulfilled. So they would state that intention to the group, right? Then as a group, we would go back up and get walked through the six steps, right? And um, we do this incredible process where we just get to connect into theta and we're just in this expanded state. But then this is where the magic really started happening. As each one started coming back in, then afterwards, each person would affirm to the original person. So let's say, I don't know how I, you know, easily, you know, create, you know, easy, I'm easily generating $20,000 a month or more in my business, if that were my command. What each person in the group would affirm back to me would be this statement, Catherine, I absolutely know that you are now easily generating $20,000 back into your business and I support you. So powerful. One, hearing your name, having someone look you right in the eye, and then the whole group witnessing it. And something amazing happens with that because one, hearing your name linked to your desire, having it affirmed back to you, it opens you up into receiving. The other thing, you know, we're taught a lot of times in this metaphysical law of attraction, there's one of two ways we're taught. We're taught, do not tell anybody at all of your hopes, wishes, or desires. Don't tell them your goals because you'll get such a good feeling telling about your goal. You won't do it. Or your loving friends, family, <laughs> frenemies will kindly divert you away from that which you really want because it's not your dream is not comfortable for them, which is true. The other school of thought is you find the people who believe in your dream, who support your dream, you talk about your dream, you give life to your dream, and you get that encouragement and that feedback and that support you need in order to help make it happen. And that's more of like a mastermind, right? And so there's a lot of power in speaking your desire, speaking what it is that you want to create. Because your word, your word is a living thing. And as it goes out into the world, it, it does not return to you until it's been fulfilled. There is power in your voice stating your desire. And so what happens is when you say, this is what I want, and the world says, I, it's absolutely so now, I see it happening and I support you, it creates this rush of emotion well, what does that do? That shifts your energy field, that shifts your um, neurology. And it feels so good and empowering. What starts happening is you start looking for that energetic match in the world, right? And then everything that's not that match, it's easy to say no to. You wind up not settling for those people that go, yeah, buddy, she's doing her thing. And she didn't get it, right? You naturally grow, you know, find yourself just navigating away from those people and start gravitating towards enthusiastic support that believes in the beauty of your dreams. And really, I caught that vision. And I, that experience was so powerful because there was a woman there that literally could not say what she wanted. She had a huge meltdown. And I found out this is a big problem um, in the I don't know, 60, 70, 100 meetings, I don't know how many we had over the years, where we would get to this little piece, this little class exercise, tell us what you want. And there'd always be one person that would start crying and shaking and sometimes get physically ill because they were so conditioned not to want or desire anything. The other thing that happens is some people's dreams are so big, it snaps you awake. Right. And then sometimes there's something you want and people try to talk you out of it, but you've got to be able to have a safe place to say it. And that's kind of what happened to me was that last one because mine was small. Mine seemed small to them, but it was big to me. And I said, I want to be able to be as a group of people that um, I can share my gifts with. I want to make my living with a, a group. And I see myself doing that in my own house. And I don't know how. I am making a living, sharing my gifts, 
I, you know, living in my own house, I only know it's sundown, I am fulfilled. And that was a giant leap for me. It sounds small, but at the time it was giant. And people were like, that's too small. Don't you want to live in a mansion or a castle somewhere? Don't you want to teach millions of people? And I was like, this is big for me. This happens, everything else falls behind it. And six months later, Asara had come to Texas, was visiting me in my new home where we were going to be having a, a class come. About 75 people had registered to uh, come to the event at my little three bedroom house in Dallas. And um, she said, oh my God, it, this is your command. This is exactly when you said you wanted a house, this is exactly how it looked in my mind's eye because there was this particular tree and there's the way the house was decorated. That was me, it was mine. And um, like, yeah. And I was, so I was teaching classes out of my house. I was, you know, teaching regular classes. I was hosting circles because that was such a powerful experience. I started introducing those special, those, those circles. Those led to other teaching and opportunity. And eventually I got to travel the world. And at one point we did have circles in 17 countries. We were teaching a lot of certification and then shifts in the business. That part of the business was no longer supported. And I have a vision to bring that back. So that's that's what's happening here. So thank you for letting me share that. Um, what we do in the circle is pretty simple. We like to check in with whoever's here because we are here to find out what it is, what your hope, what your desire is. And then we, um, I help you format a command around it. We're, we've just got a couple of people on the group right now. I, I do wanna mention that this is gonna get uploaded to Facebook. And um, you know this gets shared with the private group and I host this on YouTube, but it's a private link so that people, only people who are in my group get to see this. So be mindful that this is not just us talking, okay? So what we're gonna be checking in on is um, who has something to share. You might wanna share some good news, like, hey, what's working for you? A new awareness um, or a personal breakthrough. Or you might have shifted that you know, noticed that there was some some shift in your behavior, like hey, you noticed there's something you should, would normally be worried about, and you're not worried. You're noticing that you're staying steady. Just whatever it is, okay. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, check in first with Nancy and then Joanne, and let's see. Yeah, it's just us chickens today. <laughs> So we're just going to check right in. Okay, so I'm going to check in with Nancy first. Get a little sip of water. Us chickens are okay. That's, that's for right. sure. And you know, I, I just have to um, say something that I was laughing a little bit when you were introducing yourself. And you said your last name so, uh, or was it, anyway, you said your name so fast that I thought you said Captain Perry. Oh, and I thought that's kind of a cute nickname for you, Captain. You Perry. know, I, I think I'll go ahead and make that my uh, new uh, handle. <laughs> I I, anyway, that was just, it made me laugh. So that's cute. Well, as you know, I've been uh, experiencing uh, some health uh, news. It wasn't fantastic, but, uh, and I am having surgery on Thursday. So, of course, my intention is most definitely to, um, to be completely, uh, after Thursday, completely just vibrantly healthy. So that would be that the, the surgery goes well, easy, breezy, and I'm vibrantly healthy uh, after that surgery. So yeah. that would be my intention. But it's interesting because, you know, when something like this happens, you're, it always, I don't know about you, but it always makes me kind of stop and think, well, what could have brought this on? Because, you know, this group, I know Joanne believes this, I know you do as well, that what we think and feel and put out there is often what we attract. And I'm usually pretty darn positive, but I've had a, um, uh, thank you, um, Joanne, that was good. I've had uh, just a lot of uh, financial stress this past year, and it wouldn't, be far-fetched I don't feel at all if that could be what kind of um, drew this in but interestingly enough um, this made me and something else happened that I haven't even had a chance to share with you yet Catherine but 
it's a good thing that could happen um, and help me to be uh, financially secure um, if this does go through. So what I learned from that is to always just know and trust that everything is going to be okay. Because in my life, when I've been in other situations, especially with finances, I've always somehow gotten out of it and around and things have been okay. So this is just another thing that, that happened. And I think when it did, it cut so deep this time that that, that recognition of it will be okay somehow wasn't there. And then when this other event came to me and I realized, okay, so there is a solution, there is an answer. And I should have trusted that. I should have trusted that. And had I trusted that, I would have been feeling physically and emotionally a lot better. Mm -hmm. And I think perhaps not be in the predicament where I am, but it's, I also know that uh, it's all going to be okay. Yeah. So no matter what, it's going to be okay. So that was kind of my personal breakthrough that, that this actually brought upon me, interestingly yeah. enough. So, yeah, because yeah, our first inclination is, oh no, what did I do wrong? Right. Oh no. Yeah. Right. And right. So I love what you did is that you flipped it over. It's like, um, this is going to turn out to some, something that's going to be right for me. Yeah. There's something yeah. that needed to happen. And sometimes we don't know. I mean, sometimes there could be a structural issue that can only get resolved at the physical plane. Right. And yeah. so that, that is a pathway. And, and so many people go, no, 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 we got to deny the body, right? Just focus on the mind. And yeah. so we don't know what the path is at this point. We don't know why, but um, it's something that was ready to be resolved. Not something that broke, yeah. but something that was right. ready to be resolved in you. And that's the way to, um, uh, that I, and, I'm looking at it. Yeah, I think, you know, I, I just think, you know, sometimes the universe will give you these little subtle things, wake up and listen to this, hear this, and yeah, and I just wasn't hearing it, so, so they have had to go kaboom, and, you know, I heard it now, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I think that's part of it, too. Okay, so um, Nancy, I absolutely know that your surgery goes better than expected, and on the other side of this, that you uh, recover quickly and you live in radiant divine health and I support you. Thank you. Thank you. Perfect. <laughs> Thank you. All right. This is fun because uh, I know we get so busy during the daytime and someone I never get to talk to is Joanne. How are you? <laughs> uh, I am really well. Oh, the endeavor for a moment. <laughs> Because of course, Nancy, you know, whenever I have something, an important call, my baby Charlie rings the bell to go outside. He does this <laughs> every single time. So um, I guess <laughs> I've just learned to live with it. <laughs> okay, you're outside now? <laughs> I am getting back in, yeah. Okay. So hopefully you can hear me okay. And okay. I also want to stop and say... Nancy before I launch into my bit that I absolutely as well see your surgery going fantastically and that you have a wealth of your restored back to vibrant health and you have a wealth of health <laughs> I was thinking how interesting we measure we, we talk about wealth of financial wealth but really, that's nothing if we don't have a wealth of health. <laughs> so it, it's a mouthful, <laughs> but true. It all starts with that. It really does. You know, I'm. Yeah. Yeah. So that, that's actually been my personal kryptonite watching after my own health, even though I'm like interested in it. And I actually enjoy the process of exercising. It's been the one area that I've uh, fallen down on. And um, so. Yeah, so right now my body's like going, hey now, can you hear? Hey now, now's the time. And uh, fortunately, I'm able to give myself the time and not have to be um, stressed about money or working or anything. So it's like, 
It's so lovely to awesome. just like not have to have that be a consideration. So what's happening with you? Now, um, so what? what's happening with me is that I too have had this past week in particular to week and a half, I guess sort of uh, a lot of uh, bills were coming my way and there were bills for things that I really wanted to get done. Mm -hmm. But I was freaking out because I saw my savings dwindling and I'm not able to like put back what I want, <laughs> you yeah. know, and every single time I turn around to say, okay, I pay myself back, you know, cause I've taken an advance, something else came up. And so I decided to lean into it and say, I trust that it will replenish mm -hmm. and I am really enjoying the things that I have to get done Yeah, and I need to get them done. And I just sort of turned like whenever a negative thought came in I turned it into well what do I want to feel instead you know yes. and I want to feel peace and joy and um I want to feel safe you know mm -hmm. um and I know that I can and that like Nancy said too I just have to remind myself of times many multiple times when things were maybe a little bit more challenging or I decided to teach myself this lesson or that lesson and I yeah. somehow you know um came through that lesson and uh was richer for it truthfully richer yeah. um emotionally and physically and so forth so I am learning to do that um and um really learning to also get a little bit more clear about what it is that I actually want to have happen, you know, mm -hmm. uh, in my life. So, and I think that if I were to articulate it, I'd say, I want to, and, and this is going to be a little bit vague, but for now I'm going to live with it, you know, cause it's in the process of getting fine tuned. Mm -hmm. But I want that feeling, you know, like if you could cut up a feeling <laughs> or make a movie of the feeling, I want that feeling where you're joyous, where I'm joyous and I'm um, feeling secure. And I know that no matter what, um, the uh, what comes in is always more than what has to go out, irrespective on a continuous, you know, just yeah. continuously. And that that is to do with money and health and what comes in is always more <laughs> yep and then what goes out <laughs> yeah. so so one I don't blessing know it, I, yeah one blessing it going and as you're paying say hey this is exactly why i saved up money this is exactly why yeah. i accumulated it thank you yeah. and now i am putting myself in the flow right yeah it, you're it's taking from being still now you're putting yourself in a money flow by sending it out and yeah. right now it's like, hey, as I'm investing in the things that take care of me, I trust that everything I need in order to take care of myself is uh, returned to me. Yes. Right. And, and I think I want to add one other thing that's really, really become very, very important. Mm -hmm. I'm not afraid to ask for blessings indeed, because I want to be in a position where I can give blessings indeed to others you know just yeah. be able to bless others as well yeah just starting to be a blessing to whatever degree that you can if it's a dollar if it's a can of food if it's mm -hmm. a, a five minutes when it, you know keep choosing to be the blessing and yeah. the world meets that blessing right that your abundance mm -hmm. flows from you giving blessings right yes Yes, your, your abundance, the abundance that flows to you comes through the channel of you giving blessings. Ah, that's beautiful. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. And so there's an idea we've been talking about in the daytime. I introduced it um, earlier, but it's the um, idea of how we want to experience ourselves as a universe. Okay. Um, Alan Watts said, and I, I taught this earlier. Hi, Maria. Maria. Maria was with us earlier today. And um, so Alan Watts has that famous quote, we are the universe experiencing itself, right? So mm, everything yes. 
that you're experiencing is you. You are the universe experiencing itself. So right now, whatever experience you have, it is you as that universe. And then this, you know, maybe it got set up unconsciously. Maybe it's karmic. Maybe there's some patterns that just had to run out. We don't know. But we do know this, that the moment that we make a new decision, what is the word decision? It severs us from the past, right? It's mm -hmm. like, well, I've come to the decision, like I'm going to paraphrase you, I have the decision to be a person who um, gives, who abundantly gives blessings to others, mm -hmm. right? So I want to experience myself as one who lives in a rich abundance and, sh and, and generously shares that abundance. Right. That's how yeah. I want to experience myself. Yeah. Yeah. I really do. Uh, I yeah. love that. That's how <laughs> I want to be, right? How yeah. I want to experience myself. And um, so there's a version of you called, and we kind of go, we talk a little bit about um, our awareness. Like right now, you have an awareness called lack or worry, right? that um, is coming from your ego self. And we kind of, just so we can break it out to where there's like your greater awareness and uh, we call it the me. But we could say, well, my awareness of my uh, discomfort, my awareness of my illness, right, is not sick. My awareness of my discomfort is not uncomfortable, right? My awareness of that is not, right? Yes. <sighs> so my awareness of... Um, yeah, worry, right? My awareness of my worry is not worried. No, we're just gonna call it that, just practice it for a second. We all have little worries. So say it out loud, my awareness of my worry. My awareness of my worry. Isn't worried. I'm sorry, say that again. Isn't worried. Isn't worried. Is, yes, is my awareness. Worried. Yeah. My awareness of my worry isn't worried. <laughs> I love that. that. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. That's right. So immediately you pop into your higher awareness, a different part of your brain that feels kind of neutral and kind and positive, right? Yeah. That's not worried. Yeah, this I happen? pop in the flow is what yeah. I do. I just, I feel myself in the flow, you know, like. Yeah. It pops up there. Yeah. And so guess what? Our higher self, our higher, greater self is always there with us, right? That is mm -hmm. us. There's no part of us that isn't that. There's, but we don't, very often don't have an awareness of that. So, um, so right now, my awareness of my higher self, yeah, my awareness of my higher self is aware just try that my awareness of my higher self is aware and my higher mm -hmm. self is aware of me yeah my higher self is aware of me mm -hmm. my uh my higher self is aware of my worry my higher self is aware of my worry and is on the job now and is on the job now yeah what happens is you remember that awareness and remember that truth it you know how how do i describe this physically i describe it physically as taking off a rucksack or a backpack mm -hmm. and just leaving it with someone you trust <laughs> here <Yeah. sighs> <sighs> you know you take care of that yeah <sighs> yeah so we're just gonna let the higher <laughs> self take care of the me right the me mm -hmm. and uh because when we talk about the me it's the that version of ourselves of how we see ourselves at any given moment because there's a me there's a me version of Joanna that when you walk into certain you know situations they're like oh my god she's a goddess she's so smart don't mess with her she knows what she's doing let her do her thing right we're very powerful 
there's another part of you, you may go someplace and you feel kind of dorky. You're out of your element. You feel uncomfortable, right? You feel like mm -hmm. kind of tumbly and falls around you, right? And, um, but there are just aspects of yourself that show up in different situations, right? And so we might call that a lens. It's a lens, how you're seeing yourself, mm. right? And yeah. so when you notice whatever you're feeling negatively, you might just go, the me, not I am, but the me feels concerned. And then you just be present to the concern. The me okay. needs to see money coming back in at an equal or greater rate than it's going out. That's what your me, the me needs. Right? That's why it feels yeah. so hard. What's going, hey, 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 it's all going out. When, what's the plan? <laughs> what are we doing? Right? Right. So be present to that part of you that needs to see more come in than is going out. Mm. Be present to it. And now just come into your awareness of your great, your higher self, being present to that too. the reason we want to be present to whatever that fear or that thought is very often we don't listen we're not present to it so it can cycle through and complete when we get to the resource we stop it with our stories with our anxiety when we try to get away from the feeling right right we're going to be present to it and if your higher self could speak to the me that says I need to see more coming in. What's happening? What's the plan? What what message would your higher self give to that me that is concerned about money? Trust comes up. Uh -huh. um, be, be still comes up. And then it's in the sense of be still enough to tune into that trust, to that knowing that all is well. Yeah. Um, but also my higher self is thanking the me mm -hmm. for raising the concern so yeah. that it can be transformed. Yeah. Thanks. Oh, wow. That felt good. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what thought, what thought I had was like, when we tuned into the higher self, my first thought was to the me was like, you know, I trust you. I'm asking you to trust me, but I need you to know how much I trust you too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's beautiful. Yeah. Are you guys feeling that energy of just allowing that to be present? So we're kind of modeling a way to deal with the ego, right? And just being present to that. Oh, there we go. And so now when you think about wanting to have this experience of uh, having the ability to um, experience yourself as one who creates abundance and that you're blessed, you know, that your abundance comes from the blessings you give. Does that feel true now? Does that feel like, yeah, that's exactly who you are? Yeah, it... Um... Yeah, it does. I, I, I think of it as just being able to live in blessing and spread blessings. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah to, no matter what degree you're at, there's a way that you can give a blessing, right? Yeah. Just like, um, and you know, I had something happen a few weeks ago and it's, you know, like where we live, it's like this little kind of collection of rent houses that one person owns. And so the neighbors here are all kind of social, they talk, but I hadn't, I didn't know my neighbor yet. And uh, he's in the backyard. He's got this headset on from, I guess the 1990s, because there's literally antennas on this thing, you know, and he's got <laughs> this little barbecue and he is humming and kind of dancing while he's cooking his barbecue. 
right? He's just making his little dinner. It's Friday afternoon. He's off for the weekend. It's payday. I don't know what the story is, but his vibe, his happiness is so pure, right? In this little humble neighborhood I'm in, these are all just like, I'm not going to tell what the situation is, but this is not a posh area where I'm staying right now. And, but it was such a rich, beautiful experience. I caught that vibe of happiness, right? Yeah. And I'm just walking around and I was totally blessed. And then I shared on TikTok, I said, this thing happened with my neighbor today. And then people start saying, you know, I saw this person doing this and this and this. And suddenly everybody's remembering some little spark of joy that they caught. I, I couldn't think of anything better to want to be, right? It was like to be mm -hmm. the beautiful part of someone's day. So no matter what you do, that's what you do. You bless people with or without money. Mm -hmm. okay? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And so I have this uh, handout in the um, uh, files of the TLC Money Mindset Mastery Group that kind of breaks breaks out this uh how to experience yourself okay what that would look like but i'm not going to go through that right now but um hey was this helpful very helpful thank you oh, so much thank you for putting yourself out there and letting me um just uh jump in there and coach you a little bit because uh i'm sure other people will learn from this too so thank you thank you with all my love <laughs> All right. Well, we have beautiful Maria. Hey, Maria, how are you today? Hey, well, I started off pretty good and I'm, I'm feeling great. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, I just, I dropped in because I wanted to support what you're doing, you know, oh. offering the second opportunity um, for all of us. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to kind of dial in. Thank you. So what's something that um, you want to attract, create, or manifest that we can uh, support you in? Okay, um, a quickie piece. How about allowing? You know, so like I have a plan, but the other person has their plan. And so just allowing life to happen. And, and um, I must have to have dialed in maybe prior to that to know that whatever's working is for the best, all in all, as it unravels. So I mean, so how to be in that right place and how to just let this shit go over the, under the bridge. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. So um, to allow things to unfold naturally. Right. They should. Yeah. Not my control. It isn't my way. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I mean, uh, here we're mastering creators of the universe, but it's kind of nice that we don't have to be to make every single thing happen. Right. <laughs> So someone was giving the um, example of, you know, there's looking at something and there's really being aware of it, being present to it, you know, and, and sometimes there's like, yeah, I really want to try to get this and there's efforting and, and we feel the tension around us. I got to get this. I got to focus, right? If I focus, then I'll get this, right? And you're lashing yourself to the table or whatever so that you don't move until you really get all of it. But Really, all it comes down to is we've got to commit to wanting to see it, right? But then look at how much is in our control. Like we cannot control, control the rods and cones in our eyes that allow us to see what's happening, right? Right. And it's not, we have no control about the speed of, you know, the light hitting the optic nerve and going to our brain and, and how all of our brain connects all of that. We don't know right right so there's actually a lot more that we don't know okay so what we can can know is this is that all things are working together for your good so i don't know how i can allow things to work together for my good and for the good of others oh i like that okay i only know everything is unfolding as it should now and i am fulfilled oh sweet Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. All right. I feel like I need to just come sit at your house and we'll have classes there, Maria, because there's something about you. You bring out something in me that I just love. I know you love how I teach and talk about things, but um, there's a way that um, 
I love what you bring out of me and what you bring into the group through your questions and your willingness to learn. So thank you so much. Oh, wow. Well, I think you're talking to somebody else, but thank you. No, I'm talking to somebody <laughs> else, <with> you. <laughs> and we absolutely know that you are in a peaceful state of being and a state of trust, knowing that all things are working together for their good now, and we support you. Thank you. Oh, my. <clears throat> Back at you. <laughs> all right. And Miss Cassandra, oh, I'm so glad you could join us. How are you doing? I just took a big bite. <laughs> well, I'm going to take a little sip. Sorry. That's all right. Okay. We'll give you a second to chew. Just take all the time you need. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. The minute it was time, Joanne's time to talk. Her dog immediately had to go outside now. <laughs> and uh, and then uh, my dog got busy too. So and yeah. just as I took the bite, I was thinking, I should take a small bite instead of a big bite. <laughs> <laughs> take your time. <laughs> Every time. Okay. <laughs> Just timing. I forget you used to be a waitress. <laughs> oh, that's right. That's right. I know exactly when people take a bite of food. <laughs> um, oh. So how are you feeling? Um, better. I have medicine to take and it it's uh today making me sick, but I decided just to drop back down because I'm supposed to ramp up and yeah. So, but things are getting better. I'm getting healthier. Yeah. Well, good. Yeah. One, finding out what's going on and getting that first support so that you, your body can kind of heal and get rebalanced and then working from there. Yeah. You know, I tell people I, I went in for my asthma, got my heart tested and found out I have raging diabetes. So well, aren't you glad you found out because very often it feels oh, like yeah. something else and that could go south very quickly. Um, we have yeah. a couple of relatives that did not get diagnosed in time. So I'm sorry that you're going through this right now, but I'm glad that you're getting the treatment that you need. Yeah, I'm I'm happy that it was found and and I can be healthy because it's treatable and manageable and life is good again. Okay. Um, awesome. My energy is coming back. <laughs> just yeah. just got to get used to the medicine. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it, I don't know if it's because maybe our group's a little older, but I kind of feel like there's something like the everyone I see here is like we're go-getter types of people we've been the workhorses like what needs to be done we just we go and make stuff happen we move mountains for other people and um there's all that stuff and then um we've, we've done that like our whole lives is that true is that how you've been oh, yeah yeah oh yeah always and, on the go um, on the move yeah and that's how we're set up but what I'm seeing a lot of people talking about they said you know I get a sense you know, like uh, normally I would be going and doing this, but I kind of feel like no, wait, because that's not going to be necessary on the other side of us. And I wonder if some of this has to do with like what we're going through health wise or these challenges is to go, okay, go offline. Here's the one excuse you allow yourself <laughs> to not be full born yeah. to be balls to the wall like every day, right? And uh, yeah, like serving. slow down. <laughs> So I don't know how we saw slow down and we um, we're in divine right timing and know and trust that we are doing exactly what we're supposed to be doing right now. I only yeah. have so now and I am fulfilled. Yeah, I keep saying I have little signs happening like I went to get horse feed on Sunday and ran into the manager of the store the feed store who doesn't work Sundays normally uh -huh. and we actually had things to talk about that 
<laughs> so it was like, you know, divine intervention that she was walking from the back of the front of, to the front of the store while I was walking to the back of the store and and we got to take care of business like yeah. right there boom boom so yeah. maybe there's some other business that you can be taken care of too so yeah. yeah so I'm like sometimes you slow down and and it puts you in the right place at the right time yeah yeah like I'm up here near my grandkids and I you know like I spent the last few days there because um, my, my car broke down. It was just easier for me to stay at the house. And um, then my granddaughter's like, Nana, please don't go again. And I said, I'm here like all the time. She said, but I like you being here with us. And so the granddaughter is so happy. And I had them both on either side of me, even the 15 year or 16 year old. They're like right here, just wanting to love on me. It's like, you know what? I'm so lucky. So many people don't get to have that. And so I'm just going to be here. This, these are going to be the moments I wish for, you know. Right. So just right now, just take some time to live and slow it down and take care of yourself. Okay. That's what I'm trying to do. That's what you're doing. <laughs> I know. Patience isn't always my strong soup. <laughs> you know, uh, we're, we're those firehouse dogs, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> so uh yeah so right now it would be that experiencing yourself as someone who's um living a you know has all the time they need right <sighs> i don't know how do you want to experience yourself so you've been working so hard and there, if you've been from one project to the next you haven't really had time to breathe in between anything. And there's been so many demands on you and your body's going, it's us time. So take that time, okay? Yeah, and I actually have health insurance, good health insurance. Yes, yes. <laughs> All things right. working together. Yeah. All right, so let's uh, do our command. So. You know, um, think about what it is that you want to command for. We know how we want to experience ourselves. Then we want to think about, hey, how do we want that to show up? And so, um, like Nancy's, like I want to have um, a wonderful surgery, right? That goes better than expected, and uh, the issues resolved, and I live in divine health, right? So I don't know how I am living in divine health. I only know I am now and I am fulfilled, right? In my divine right. Oh, this, this Nancy, I got a correction. There's something coming in. I don't know how I am living in my divine right state of radiant health. My divine right state of radiant health and wealth. I love that. I only know it so now and I am fulfilled. Like it's your God given right. Whoever wants to receive that one go, yeah, I want that. That's my divine right to live in abundance. It's my divine right to live and be the blessing I desire. It's my divine right to live in flow and ease and trust. It's my divine right to um, you know, live my life in a way that I can have deep, many, meaningful conversations and really experience my life right i only know it so now and i am fulfilled Ooh, who's feeling that yeah here we go so in this space of what's our divine right we want that for each other so let's just align to that good that not only do we want for ourselves that we want for everyone so Let's just let the master in you greet the master in every other person in the group. And if you're watching us by the replay, then we greet the master in you. And in the space between us, let there only be love. And I invite you to ground and really just become present in your body. And connect into the base of your spine, that root chakra. 
and picture, visualize, or imagine that you're like a tree. And from your root chakra, those long roots are going down into the earth, connecting into that creative life force energy of the earth. And just allow yourself to become aware of that earth energy connecting to you and giving support to you physically. And you may notice that feeling like some tingling or just noticing the energy or, may, or you may simply imagine energy coming up through your feet, to your knees, to your thighs, to your hips up your spine, connecting into those shoulders, down your arms, right to your fingertips. Move your neck a little bit so that energy can come on up and support your head. Now I invite you to connect into your heart as you align to your purpose. And your purpose is how you as the universe wish to experience yourself. Living in a divine health, living in abundance, living in flow, living in ease. And your intention of what you would, how you would like for that to look. And what we're doing is we are connecting the feminine, the divine feminine within you through your desire with your intention, which is the masculine. And right now, we're just going to let those two aspects, the masculine and the feminine, connect and come into alignment as you focus on your heart. Also, I want to invite you to become aware of your crown chakra right to the top of your head. And as you become aware of that crown chakra, you may be aware of your connection to source. And many people see it as like a pole of light that is coming right down to the top of your head, down two channels down either side of your spine, and it goes all the way to the center of the earth. And that spiritual life force energy is supporting you, that higher self. This is the channel that your higher self comes in. So the quantum field can communicate with you. And as you're aligning in your heart, the heart is a neutral space. This is the reason that we really want to align here and be aware of our creative life force energy and this higher it's because as we align to our heart we remember as above so below as above so below so now just let yourself come back into your awareness of your connection to source and i love what happened with joanna as that greater part of her connected in with that lower part of her and start talking about trust and being still. It also said, I trust you with the vision. I trust you to do whatever's necessary. And I just want to now invite you to deepen that connection to source by rolling your eyes up and picture, visualize, or imagine that you are traveling up this pole of light. And the higher you go, the faster you go. And soon you're speeding past galaxies and universes and parallel universes and all these different dimensions of time. And as you keep going further, soon you find that you are surrounded by this beautiful black velvety energy and you're at the outer edge of space 
outer edge of the universe. And in the distance, you may be aware of a teeny pinprick of light. And that's the planes of creation. Head to it. Immediately, you break through the darkness into the light of pure, open potential. We're going to state our first command, and then I'm going to do some commands for the group. Eyes closed, rolled up as if you're trying to look up to the top of your head. I don't know how, and state what you desire. I only know. It is so now, or I do now, and I am fulfilled. And then we just let that idea go. We let that expand out to an idea even greater that serves more good in its fulfillment. Let your eyes relax for a second. Now, whatever you commanded, you may notice that there's kind of an amendment to it. Maybe you want to add something to it, or there's you want to clarify. So I don't know how I, and go ahead and state the second part. I don't know how more money comes in than goes out. I don't know how I'm living in a supernatural state of grace and abundance. I don't know how I am living in and through and by my divine right to live in a radiant health. I don't know how. I am master, mastering in control of my time. I don't know how I'm living in a state of flow and grace and allowing things to unfold. And I am trusting and knowing that all things are working together for the greater good. I only know it's so now and I am fulfilled. I don't know how I remember that I have the power to create whatever I desire by my command. I only know I choose to live in that power now, and I am fulfilled. Just let that go. Let all of that go. And now think about this. If what you desired were manifested when you woke up in the morning, how would you feel? Be happy. You'd be excited. Be going, oh, yes, thank you. Yes, oh, my gosh. Yes, and you would just start receiving that in gratitude. So right now, just start opening yourself up and start stating out loud, yes, thank you. Thank you for this. Thank you for that. And start saying thank you for everything that you're grateful for, but particularly in what you commanded for. I'm so grateful. I'm grateful for the people in my life. I'm grateful for the circumstances. I'm grateful that I'm able to do what I'm able to do at this point. I'm so grateful for all the resources. I'm so grateful that things always work out better than I hoped. I'm so grateful for this experience. I'm so grateful for this learning. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And as you're receiving and allowing this greater state of being, as you're coming into this higher way of thinking, just let the old ways, the old thoughts, the old programs, let all those stories unravel. Like an old VHS tape or a cassette tape, just unraveling, breaking it. Break that tape. It's not you. It's not true. It's not what your reality is. It's just a memory of a memory. Let it go, let it unwind and unwind and unwind. And as this greater state of being comes in and the new ideas start to arrive, now to just allow it, this neurology to start to rewind and integrate. And this may take a few days or it could be instant. And this is literally happening at the DNA level, it's happening at a neurological level, it's happening at the cellular level. Everything's unwinding and letting go. You are a new creation. You have a new mind right now. And keep your eyes closed for a second. 
do an internal check-in. When you think about your desire, the outcome that you commanded for, when you think about what brought you here tonight or whenever you're listening to this, when you think about that desire, what do you know now that you didn't know before? Like, do you get a sense that it's gonna be okay? Is there an idea on how to deal with it? Is there, how do you just feel calm? But just notice what your response is now as you think about the situations that you wanted to get resolved. And what you know now that you may not have known before. Now, in this phase, I always like, oh, I get an idea, I want to take action. But if we always, and let me say that, we recommend that you keep a journal, make notes as quickly as possible. Right now, it's kind of like when we come out of this state, you're, it's going to be like trying to remember a dream. So whatever you can capture as quickly as possible, get it written down. And uh, we suggest getting a journal and a notebook for that. And then the seventh st step is inspired action. And actually, I want to correct this because it's inspired massive action. So be ready for an idea or an inspiration, an opportunity, and just go for it. Don't question yourself. It's like call that person or you get a, you know, hey, now I want to go over here. I want to go do this. Follow the energy and just say yes to yourself. Keep saying yes to your ideas. I hope this was beneficial. We meet on the first and third um, Tuesday of each month. And of course, we meet every Tuesday. You ready to open your eyes. At noontime, you can tune into the Facebook group at TOC Money Mindset Mastery, or I'm on YouTube, The Big Vision Coach. But um, I have a website, katherineperry.net, K-A-T-H-R-Y-N. P E R R Y dot net backslash join the free community. And there's dashes between each word. Catherine Perry dot net backslash join the free community. And if you register there, this will take you to my uh, private members area where I have archives of all the past calls organized, but also a lot of people like listening to the audios alone. And so I have the audios pulled so that you can listen to these commands, which you only had to do it once, but a lot of people really enjoy listening to the teachings or listening, going back through the six steps. And then I have some other bonus uh, materials there. Okay. And then I am working with people one-on-one. -on -one. And um, if you want to see what that would look like, um, I have different ways of work with people. I'm working less one off like single sessions i'm i'm finding it takes usually three to six sessions to make a real change but where i really can best serve you is being that guide and that support like on a six month or a yearly journey to because uh life comes at you fast and uh, sometimes we just need a, that fresh set of eyes or that accountability. And I want to help you achieve whatever you want to achieve in the world. So if you want to work with me or want to find out how, you know, some options on how you can get some support, uh, just email me at Catherine at CatherinePerry.net and uh, we'll set up a time to talk. All right, my love. Was this helpful tonight? Yeah. And uh, Robin. I'm so sorry, we, uh, I noticed that you joined at the last little bit, but uh, welcome. <laughs> and um, hopefully we, we're gonna be doing this the first and third Tuesday of each month at 7 p.m. And we do meet at, at, like I said, at noon on Tuesday. So I hope you can join us for other ones and we can get to know you. Hi. <laughs> <coughs> there you are. <laughs> Um, do you want to just say hi to the group right now, just right quick, so that we can tune into your voice? Kind of got you on the spot there. I apologize. Okay. Well, we're going to go ahead and let you go. We're going to go ahead and end the circle. Until next time, this is Catherine Perry, the Big Vision Coach, and I witness your mastery. Bye, everybody.